Hi guys, my name is Natasha and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be reviewing and doing a all day wear test on the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation, Dewy. It's just Dewy. So I have the original one and I've worn it before. It's really great. My only complaint on it is that it smells like nail polish remover and I just can't take it. So that's pretty much why I don't like to wear it that much. Um, but the performance of it is really great. The formula, everything, the price is fantastic. I think it's like five under seven dollars for the foundation really good. The new Dewey foundation is about the same price. I don't know why they came out with a Dewey foundation because the first one was matte, but we will see today. I will do an all day wear test, so stay for the end of the video for that. If you have not subscribed to my channel, hit that red button. Also hit the bell. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and let's get applying the foundation. So I'm going to apply this foundation just like I do all my other ones whenever I do a wear test, bare face with my fingers and all of my other products that I normally wear on top so that I have a good base to go off of and know exactly how the foundation by itself performs because all my other products are the ones that I use every day. I got this foundation in the color bronze beige. I'm hoping that it matches my self tan. I'm kind of in the middle of my self tan right now. Let me see how it comes out. Okay, so it comes out in the same little thing that the original Photo Focus did. I'm gonna put it on my hand first because I don't like putting it directly on my face. I did wash my hands so all of that is clean. Okay, that color looks pretty good. Okay, so I have some thoughts on this foundation right now, just apply it. For the smell, it smells really good. They put some sort of scent in it, but it smells like, like fresh, like a fresh flower, fresh laundry, but it's not strong at all. So I know some of those people who might be sensitive to smells, I don't think that this will be overwhelming, especially if you wore the original and was able to overcome that nasty chemical smell. So this one, I really love that it smells nice. I'm probably actually gonna continue wearing this if it performs well because the smell I can handle. So as is for application, it went on really well. So it's really smooth. It looks like it's got some really good coverage. You can see my beauty spot right here and a sunspot right here. So it is not like full, full coverage, but definitely a good medium. It probably is buildable because the other one was as well. I'm just going to read quickly on the back what it says that it's supposed to do. It's supposed to hydrate and smooth complexion for a luminous finish, buildable coverage from for normal to dry skin. So not for oily skin because it is a dewy foundation. So if you have oily skin, probably pass and find yourself a matte foundation. I have a couple of those I can recommend. So check out my channel and go and watch a few of my foundation all day wear tests. All right guys, so I'm going to put on the rest of my makeup and then we are going to be back and I will do a final check-in for the end of this video, so stay for that.
Alright, so my full face of makeup is on, and so far I am absolutely loving this foundation. I looked online just a little bit about the ingredients because I was curious with it saying that it is hydrating and nourishing for your skin. So I'm on the Wet n Wild website right now, and I just want to read to you a little bit about what they say about the foundation. They say that it's supposed to blend, blend seamlessly, blurs imperfections, and minimize the appearance of pores for a perfectly smooth, dewy finish available in 20 gluten-free, cruelty-free, talc-free, and vegan shades. So that is very impressive. I do have to say that it did actually smooth out my skin, and it looks like it filled in my pores a little bit. It is really nice. It's beautiful. It's natural. It's not cakey. I really like the finish of it. It's not fully matte matte. It's like a, it does have a natural luminous finish to it So I really like it. I did set it with powders So I will see how it wears throughout the day. I'll do a check-in right after this so stay for that But uh, I'm curious do any of y'all know if you're actually supposed to set with powders a dewy foundation because that would like make it more matte and I know setting it kind of just helps pack it in there and helps you know, um, make it stay and last all day, but if anybody knows, like, the ins and outs between setting with powder, not setting with powder, a dewy, luminous foundation, please let me know in the comments below. I'm really curious to find that out. I'm actually going to do some research myself on that, so follow me on Instagram, and I might update you on my stories on what I find out about that. I really want to see what type of ingredients they have in here. Um, Alright, so it says always shake before use to activate. I don't know what activate means, but um, I guess I'm going to continue doing it because it worked well today. Alright, so the ingredients in here, let me see if it has anything that stands out. It has hydrogenated castor oil in it. Dimethicone, water. Okay, so overall, I don't see anything that stands out to me for why it is hydrating. I guess I don't understand the names of all of these chemicals that are in here, but it says that it does, so we'll see how it wears. I have very sensitive skin, so I tend to break out with a foundation that has too much strange things in it, so I will see if I do that with this foundation since it says that it has hydrating elements inside of it. The ingredients, nothing crazy stood out to me, so I think that we should be good. I'm going to continue wearing it if it performs well today and then um, see if it has any strange effect on my skin, but so far it's really nice. I'm actually going to scooch in just a little bit closer to the camera right now so that you can see how my skin skin looks close up and uh, then we will jump to the check-in. So I'm actually wearing several Wet n Wild products today. Some new ones that I picked up that I'll be doing a full review on. They're Wet n Wild Highlighter Blush Duo. I'm wearing this blue purple highlighter on my cheekbone right there as you can see it's really nice. I'm wearing the pen liquid liner. I've been loving this one and I'm wearing their blush in pinch me pink. So really good product. And as you can see my skin, I really like the way that it looks right now. It's really pretty. My pores look filled in. It looks natural, dewy, but not, it's not like super matte, but it's not like gross, shiny. Really pretty, really like it. Alright guys, so I'm really excited to see how it wears. I'm going to put a check in right after this, so stay for that. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, do that. Also give this video a thumbs up if you liked it so far. And I will see you in a second. Alright guys, so I'm doing my final check in of the day. It is 8 hours later since I applied the foundation this morning. And I do have some clear thoughts on how the foundation wore. It's coverage stayed the same. It did get a little bit oilier, oilier than my matte foundations, but if you were to put this on, let's say, at an evening and then have like a night event or something like that, or if you just were to have a powder that you would touch up throughout the day, I think that this foundation will actually be a beautiful wear. It's wearing really nicely right now. It did slightly do some sort of breakup right here. But nothing that, you know, I would notice normally. It's not something that anyone else would notice for sure. Um, but that's just something to note. 
I would not wear this foundation without setting it with a powder because it is a dewy foundation and it has gotten a little bit oilier than my matte foundations so a uh, note for that be sure to set it with powder when you wear it but overall for the price for um, everything else about the foundation how it wears I think that it is a good one that you can try what I put it above my favorites like the Superstay or the Catrice or the Milani new screen queen um, or the Milani two-in-one conceal wear no but it is definitely a really nice one to have I'm looking forward to trying it out in the summer and uh, whenever my skin is a little bit more dry if you do have dry skin you probably would like this foundation a lot but overall it is actually a really good formula I would want to see Wet n Wild actually take their original formula and just get rid of that smell that that paint thinner kind of smell that's in it and then I would probably wear that one more than the dewy one because I do like a matte foundation and that's just me you might like the dewy look but it is a really pretty finish whenever you just apply it and for the first few hours of wearing I would say that it started getting oily about at the five hour wear mark so note that whenever you apply it and you have somewhere to go but it's so cheap you might as well just pick one up and try it if you're interested in the foundation so yeah those are my final thoughts thank you for watching this video if you liked it be sure to give it the thumbs up be sure to also hit the red button and subscribe and i will see you in my next video